Welcome back to another digital unboxing of these project examples from the X Particles plugin for Cinema 4D. My name is Hafid, and before I start, I just have two quick announcements that I just want to tell you guys. Number one is just that I'm simply looking to shorten the length of these unboxings just so we can possibly get a bit more per week. And number two, I just want to give a quick shout out to my newest subscribers. Last week I got like nine subscribers, and I just want to extend my welcome to you. So welcome Enrico Meloni, Sueki Huang, The Nocture One, Indigo Muse. Slat Klearski, Jack Ren 500, Rango Song, and Soon Leon. Welcome everyone. I'm not sure if you're here for the X Particles or the Beeply analysis, but I'm glad that I'm worth a subscription. But to me, it's even better that you're interested in Cinema 4D, X Particles, and just motion graphics in general. But let's just get going with the unboxing. Okay, and for this week, we're going to continue to take a look at the XP branch. But in this case, we're going to see how you can actually curl those branches. And as always, when you decompress the file, we're going to have some small documentation these are the latest batch because there was a new update for x particles i think they released these to just show you the tools around but once i'm done with this new batch uh, some of the other projects are just going to have different compatibility so you're sticking out of that same as the past ones they just want to give you an example of what you can accomplish this is how they're telling you that it's supposed to look like so we're going to check that to see if it works you know right out of the box the last thing you're going to see in that folder is just the project itself so let me just go into the camera view play out the animation just so we can find a good point oh look at that curve right there okay i'm gonna stop it right there run my cycles for the real-time preview okay and this is how it looks with around 15 samples in this xp system we can see that we have those particle groups and i believe that those are going to be part of the xp branching we have only one emitter we have obd measure uh, for some reason we have a sweep of the main branches and the sub branches we have an xp trail for the leaves and then some instances and the last thing that we have and the core of everything the secret sauce is this xp branch here we have the animations the branches coming out and we have two sub branches i'm gonna deactivate the first one just so we can take a look here we have it the main stem and then the branches and then the curls so that is a stem with the first branching system now let's activate the second one the branches of the branches basically which are going to be our leaves and there you have it and the bending mode on this one i thought i was saying blending it's bending bending mode on this one is just set to natural yeah i think this one is just pretty much standard whenever you create a branch object over here add branch object it's just going to create another set of branches and i think this is a natural one but let me try to set this to i don't know just to see what you know it's gonna look like curl leaves okay you know what i might actually use this for the final render um it's just giving them more volume like instead of having those flat leaves maybe you can just activate the curl on the on these last ones and just to give you that i think those are called like concave and maybe just be careful you know because sometimes it's gonna just curl a little bit too much but that's what leaves do right like they just i don't know okay so this is the core of our simulation we have the lines already created the branches so you can probably stop at this point if you're only looking to you know just get some line artwork out but if you want to know how to create some geometry let's start to get into the generators themselves for the sources of this obd measure we actually have three things we have the main branch branch sub branch and the leaves for the main branch is looking at this xp trail set to our stem our first particle group and as you can see we have an xp trail on a sweep using this inside object does this mean that cinema 4d can now detect the xp trail as splines because usually you add a spline here i hope that that is the case because that just opens a lot of possibilities we don't have to create splines by themselves we can just drive them you know with particles okay getting too excited right there so we have this omni measure the second thing we can activate is the sub branch which is also the parent of our xp trail um, attached to the particle group number two and they also have an end side and the last source for this obd measure is our xp trails just the trails themselves are not parented with any sweeping or anything one thing that i did notice is that on the obd measure this vertex maps appear and disappear when you know depending on the sources so i think there's just like one per source you can probably use that information to use 
just give it a different material you just get more in depth this one the first one is for the stem and then we have for the first set of branches and the leaves themselves i'm not really sure they look pretty much the same but yeah and the last thing is just you know on the utilities we have the um instances the reference object is the obd measure this is the main one once you have your simulation ready you're pretty much ready to go because this already comes with the lighting and environment it also comes with the materials one material in this case uh let me see what we got on this one nothing too complicated it's just the principal bsdf with the subsurface all the way up you know about halfway of the specularity a little bit of roughness as you can see the leaves do not look as thick you know as the stem as the branch itself as the stem of the leaf itself and i think that's the reason that they did not add a sweep onto the leaves xp trail number three and maybe if you add that into the trail it's just gonna make those leaves just look thicker which might not give you um the same look maybe that's where you're going for but you know at this point i'm just gonna start experimenting with this you know come up with a composition of my own nothing too complicated to start with i just want to learn how to use this and maybe on, on later projects you know i apply this in a more advanced way but if you want to see the animation follow me on instagram that is hafid that particles that is the page that i have dedicated to upload pretty much all of the first versions of what i create based on these unboxings just to give you an idea what is possible to create because these don't come with like the render animations they they do give you a render example but not necessarily the animation itself so go ahead and follow that if you are interested for the next video we're going to take a look at this intersection detection branch this one is actually the last example that is going to showcase at least the new features of the xp branch system System. and i think that after these we're just going to start taking a look at the explosion effects examples because i know that we have a lot of new features so that is everything for this unboxing thank you for coming my name is hafid and i'll see you on the next video